What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 36 of our Blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, we defeated all of Po Town. We had three back-to-back -back boss battles at the very end there, and now we are in uh, the Aether Foundation, uh, Paradise Harbor, or whatever this place is called. Uh, we need to take the elevator. We are here because Lily uh, got napped kidnapped intruder spotted i'll fight with all i have to wipe you out so this is really interesting before the early part of the game i was thinking it was going to be you know team skull versus team aether and they were going to like hate each other but now you see the team skull is actually here with the aether foundation people so that's interesting to think about because at the beginning of the oh yes the sweet dug trio at the beginning of the game we definitely saw that we saw Lily running around with Cosmog in her bag um, and being chased by Aether Foundationers and they were like, stop right there and they looked sinister and they were like, we got you now and she was like, no and then she and Cosmog totally dashed out, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, so we're in the middle of a battle uh, we're fighting Sligoo, the evolved of Goomy And uh, we'll take them out too. So yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm sure in the end we're just gonna side with Lily, even though she's a Pokemon thief. But she's pretty, right? That's the whole thing. The other people that are Pokemon thieves, they're so mean, you know. So, but if you're a nice thief, it's okay. You can forgive them. That's the lesson. We're, <laughs> it's the lesson we're teaching our our children. You know, I kind of don't even want to battle if not absolutely necessary. So I'm gonna dodge that one that's walking around the boxes because. Honestly, I, I don't feel like I'm missing out much. That would really suck if they had something cool and uh, I, I missed it because I was bored. But she's got a great ball. Great ball. A shell gun. Cool. On to the next. There's our friends waiting for us in the elevator. There's another trainer over there. This is a really big open area. But we're now that we actually get to walk around here, we see that there's a rare candy, which is kind of cool couple more boxes can't ride Pokemon in here ah no darn it that was a hell of a mistake too cuz he had three different Pokemon so did not like that what do we got down here there's so much area here that's why I'm confident that there's items hiding around, because they wouldn't... This is just such a big space with so much nothing here. And they didn't let us explore it before. TM! TM Toxic. Staple of the metagame. Or at least it has been for a long time. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the metagame is right now. I can't help myself thinking about it. Which of the Pokemon I've used will reside in which tier. Because, you know... Incineroar... I love his move pool, I love his typing, and he's better than Houndoom, but I don't know that he's OU, because he's he hits hard, but he's not like the hardest hitting Pokemon around. His typing's great, but I don't know what his coverage is like. So I imagine he'll be a lot like Embor. Which is, you know, kinda bulky, kinda slow, but hits really hard. Sounds like it might. Looks like outsiders can't use the main elevator to reach the lower levels. I was afraid this might happen, but still, what a pain. I don't have any choice, we have to go up. Yep. Alright. But you know, then I'm thinking about other Pokemon, and Water Fairy is such good typing that no matter how bad Primarina is in other regards, probably OU or UU, just because the typing is so good. It's too good to be in other areas. And you come back uninvited? Like you don't know why. You of all people should know everything that happens in Aether Foundation. High and mighty branch chief. Yeah, no wonder he looks so evil, Faba. <laughs> but I'm still not telling you anything, and you of all people should understand why, Gladian. Hey, Geo. You know why being a trainer is so great? Because when you're battling, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. Everyone's equal in a Pokemon battle. Oh, oh, is that right? Is that what you think? 
So you wish to battle me, Blanche Chief Faba? The man who is called Aether Paradise's last line of defense is to battle a mere child? Huh. As you will. Mm -hmm. He's got that little soul patch. But he's battling me? I thought Gladian was going to battle him. I mean, I'm happy to battle him. We got a boss fight. All he's got is a Hypno. Boring. I want to kill him with uh, Incineroar. I could put him to sleep with Sing, but let's be honest, I'll probably miss. So let's just go hard into Incineroar and get that uh, get that amulet coin boost. No. Nightmare. Nah. Wait, I resist that, right? Oh, no, never mind. That's the one that makes me take a quarter of my health and damage every turn I'm asleep or something. Yeah. Wake up. Yes. You're going to get O-code by this, man. This is stab super effective, and you have no defense. Keep no. Keep no. It never sounds kind of Russian if you remember him in the show. Hypno. You will be put. No, no, that's not even. That's like Dracula. McBro wants to learn Dynamic Punch. That's cool. Absolutely not. <laughs> Cash money. That's 9,000 Poke Yen. I haven't had access to a computer in a while. I really wanted to switch out Toxapex. How could this be? How could this child. Olay. Why do they say it like that? Oh, look at you, Geo. And Fab is real strong, too. He's just got one hypno. You of all people know what I'm here for. Indeed, the word truly hasn't been kind to you, has it? You've said that already. If you're looking for Cosmog, I suppose it might be downstairs. Oh, yeah. Miss Wick did say there was another level farther down, didn't she? What do you do down there? Well, if you must know, I've heard experiments are held down there. Experiments aiming to tear the very boundaries of the world apart. We're in a bit of a hurry, Faba. A lift would be nice. Why not? There's an act of kindness I can do for you, thanks to my position as Branch Chief. This is weird. This area is huge, and I'm really scared that they're just going to show me a bunch of different areas, but never let me explore them. And then when I'm done here, they're going to be like, okay, have fun. Go everywhere you want. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. If I'd said no, would I have gotten to explore up here? I just, I don't want to be thrown into a building and say, go anywhere you want. And there's like six different floors. You know what I mean? But Faba smiled evilly at us, so there might be something going on. Everything looks the same. I guess it's only been two years, though. Wow, it's like a secret hideout. Don't get too excited, Hal. Though I guess it's better than freezing from fear or nerves. So where do we go now? There are two labs up ahead. I'll check the first lab, Secret Lab A. You two should check out Secret Lab B. It's down the lab, or it's the second lab down the hall. Why do you get the first one, and why do you know all this? Just focus, How. Think you can do that? I can't trust Faba. I'm sure he's already told half the Foundation about us. Beep. My roommate's home. It's his birthday. So this is going to be the last episode tonight, guys. Fair warning. You didn't even answer my question. I know what it's got to be. Nerves, eh? I reckon you're more afraid to be here than either of us, huh, Gladian? Here, Geo, you take this. Is it Malasada? Are you feeding me Malasada again? No, it's a Max Revive. Ah, <sighs> medicine pocket. Lily must be scared right now. Let's buckle down and do this. They went and named their secret labs, Secret Lab A and B. This place is bad news. That is a strange thing to name your labs. Something about down the hall. All right. All right, all right. Oh, God. Intruder spotted. We'll protect our secret labs. I like your masks. The golden visor. It's kind of cool.
all the po all the trainers here when they throw their Pokemon out just kind of do this like gentle underhand toss. Like I don't give a, f you know what I mean. There's only researchers like us here in these secret labs. Oh god, do I have to three fight three back to back? Oh. Oh. There really doesn't. This is an unnecessary number of trainer battles. I'm sorry. Okay, number two down. They're currently working on development of a new Pokeball. Yeah, to catch Pokemon not found in Alola. So, I mean, normally at this point of the game, I would assume Master Ball is what they mean. <sighs> How about I guess what you're looking for? Cosmog. Well, Lily, but sure. You guys kidnapped a child. If I were a cop, you would actually be arrested right now. But I'm not a cop. It's not what I am. Oh, boy. All right, three trainers down. Cosmog is the key, the tool needed to ultra to open the ultra wormhole, but I'm no good at battling, so I'm out of here. The other two nod in agreement. And he didn't take that memo, so he's just gonna casually walk by. He's not trying to run away. He ain't scared. He ain't real. Yeah, well, it looks like we're headed for the secret lab B. Never thought I would say that zer. Uh, there's my friend. He's just gonna tell me don't go in here. You're going to be or something like that. Oh There was a I was just trying to open the door, but apparently there's a secret creature. There's yeah strange creature there to make Stronger Zygarde How is over here? What are you kids doing in here? Don't touch anything with your grimy hands How is pissed and shouting at a bookshelf it looks like? Yeah, <laughs> shouting at a bookshelf. This research is our life. I don't care if you're a kid or what. I'll send you flying if you threaten it. Science. I suppose it would be tough if you've spent your whole life researching something, even if it is considered a little faux pas. Oh, it's a double battle. Sweet. Machoke and what? Vanillish. Very fun. Very cool. Quickest double KO ever. And those two go down. They may be an expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm no expert when it comes to battling them. But the guys in the lab A next door, they're pretty experienced with battles. After all, they spent so long reaching that uncontrollable Pokemon. Hey, focus, people. Where's Lily and Cosmog? We may have lost, but that doesn't mean we're going to help you. I'm not telling you anything. She's not here, is she? Even you can see that. These two always just... Why everyone always walks out when we beat them. Like, well, I guess we can't do anything. Certainly not use physical force. And increased muscularity over these small children. Come on, Gio. Let's split up and look around. Yeah. It's the start of every horror movie ever, How? Better read all the documents you can find. Who knows if we will ever be down here again. Oh, come on. Beyond the ultra worm holes that Professor Mon discovered lies a different dimension. By investigating the changes in mass there, we can predict the existence of Pokemon-like life. We have dubbed them Ultra Beasts for now. Ultra Beasts. Aid the report, Cosmog. Cosmog is hypothesized to be a type of Ultra Beast that hails from another dimension, a dimension that we have named Ultra Space. When placed under sufficient stress, it reveals the Pokemon to create and open Ultra Wormholes in order to escape from its suffering. We are now working on a device that will allow us to manipulate the Ultra Wormholes created when Cosmog is subjected to extreme stress. Wait, so Cosmog might be an Ultra Beast? We should tell Gladian about this. How just went running off to A. Go after How. Don't let him leave us behind. Get those human clod hoppers moving. Did you find anything? We learned a bit about Cosmog. Like it might be an ultra beast or whatever. And if you stress it a lot, it can create ultra wormholes. Maybe to run away or something. If you stress it, if you hurt it, is that what you mean? Was that why she ran away with it? But we didn't find any sign of it down there. 
Yeah, Fada probably knew this would be a dead end. Darn, did he outsmart us? Well, we are just stupid kids, so... Gladian never really explains anything, eh? He probably thinks it makes him look cool. Should we go after him? We'll go at this together. Might as well see this to an end together. Blah, 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 blah. We've got to get back to the alligator again. And quick, we're close to something big. Can we go in here now? More books. Some suspicious looking deleted files. What would you like to see? Oh man, file number two. Development record number two. Anti-UB fighting life form. B, beast, K, killer. Beast killer. The president has approved the project budget for this development project, so it will be implemented. File number five. Development record number five. Materials for development have been collected from the Canalave Library in the Sinnoh region. Plans are being drawn up for the specifications of a type change program known as the RKS system. Works is underway on designing the specifications of special memories for said system. Collection of cells of all types for genetic modeling have been completed. Blueprints for the skeletal structure have been approved. And incubation of the bioframe is underway. What would you like to see? 11. Dummy tests of the RKS system program has been completed. Type has been successfully altered with all 18 special memories. The type has been altered with 18 memories. And there's 18 types in Pokemon. So what are they talking about? Arceus? But Arceus wasn't created. Arceus was the god. He was the creator. The transplantation of the RKS system program to models is underway. The BK's official name has been set as Type Full. Ah. Type Full or Type Null. So that's why he didn't want us in here. He snatched a Pokemon. Production of three models has been completed. They are identified as serial number 01, serial number 02, and serial number 03. All three models rejected the RKS system upon initializing during testing. Shortly after these initialization errors, all three types of type full went berserk. Models have been fitted with control masks to mitigate the effects of their rejection of the RKS system. Due to the implementation of these control masks, our RKS system initialization tests have failed. All three types of type full are to be cryogenically frozen for the rest of eternity. The names of these types of models have been changed from type full to type null. There you go. There you have it, folks. There's a full restore in here. Something was loaded on the screen. This is a blog of F, a branch chief working in the Alola region. Introduction, are you interested in success, dear readers? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is F. I am an elite self-made man. Here on my blog, I will show you the way to succeed. Branch F, working in the Alola region, multitasking. Currently, I'm working on the development of a special sort of ball, which I took over from my predecessor in parallel with another project. Seeing how well I multitask impresses my subordinates and increases their motivation, showing how skillful you are is kind of on-the-job training for your underlings. Don't care. Hedging risks. I once ventured to undertake a project without notifying my superior. I developed a device to restrain a dangerous life form in case it became necessary to do so. I had it made for hedging risks to protect myself, but for better or worse, it was made public. It is always essential to consider the risks before one takes action. Oh my goodness, this is boring. <laughs> my superior family stole the results of our research and ran off. However, I have chosen to... Family stole. So is he talking about type null again? Is that the whole thing? The whole reason that he knows... The whole reason Gladi knows what's going on here is because he was here because he was the family member of one of the superiors of the Aether Foundation and because he stole... Yeah, he stole Type Null. Um, do we want to go to the docks? I don't, I don't know where we're going. Let's go to the entrance. Geo. Humph. Even beaten down old Faba doesn't change, does he? 
What do we do? Beat whoever stands in our way. What other choice do we have? Fine, fine, we can do that. But why do you have to say <laughs> all the time? Oh, here we go. Hello, children. I'm afraid Branch Chief Faba has given us orders regarding you three. Now that you've learned of the darkness at the heart of Aether Paradise, we'll need all of you to conveniently disappear. Whoa, Geo, battle with me. I'm gonna fight Hal right now? Like, Hal, this isn't a great time, buddy. I'm just kidding. He know, I know it's a double battle. But you know what? I'm gonna beat up Hal's Pokemon, too. I'm gonna drop a Sparkling Aria. It's a three-way attack. He's got a Raichu. Hopefully he's smart and uses its Electric Stab on that Pokemon that's four times weak to Electric. To be fair, I might Oko everything here except the Pelipper, though. Well, he went for a Psychic on the Pelipper. That's not... I mean, it's kind of a stupid play, but... Have the children of Alola always been this strong? Actually, I'm not from Alola, so take that. Thanks, Geo and Primarina. When we're fighting a battle, you can't afford to lose. You really can't waver at all, huh? Let's go. You know, I know we aren't friends, but I'm glad you two are here. I remember what you said at the Battle Royale Dome that day, how about how people can achieve more if they do something together. Looks like maybe you were right. He says he knows we aren't friends. This is kind of... We're doing something that kind of friends do. Young master. It's Wick. Haha. -ha. So they know each other. See the way they're longingly staring at each other's eyes? What do you mean, young master? It's been a long time, says Wick. And hello to you too, Geo and Hal. Please allow me to heal your Pokemon. Thanks, Wick. Real nice of you. What's happened to Lily? Do you know anything? I imagine she's with the president. That's where I'm going. That's all I need to know. The president? That's Miss Lusamine, right? She's a really nice person, so I'm sure she'll listen to us if we explain everything. Yeah, she's real nice, as long as you mean nothing to her. But I'm afraid the doors have been locked. Again? That's not stopping me. And then away goes Gladian. Hmm. Gladian, how? Where are you guys? We should all work together on this right oh my god more battling my my you naughty children you should just lay your heavy hands down but I knew that you would struggle onward I could see it through every action you would take so I knew you would try and reach the president and that is why I knew I would be able to ambush you here and remedy my previous failure the only reason I let you in the lower floor was to buy time to gather more staff to stop you Thank you for explaining everything about your plan. Uh, indeed, I have it right here. He has the key. So if you just stayed hidden, we would have been stuck here anyway, right? LOL. Take that, Faba. What? You idiot. Enough, you lot. Teach these children a lesson. We don't have time for this. Help me out here, Geo. I'm going to knock out your Pokemon with Sparkling Aria. It's going to be a two-hit KO, three-hit KO. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit them. Everyone going to get hit. Two down. Do we have two more? Faba and some fool. How can this be? To be cornered by mere children. Geo how I leave Faba to you. This man is called Last Line of Defense. We can settle this in a multi-battle. Come on, Geo, let's show them what our Pokemon are capable of for Lillian Cosmog too. Hi, yai, yai, nako. So we are on to the hopefully the final battle. The last line well, I suppose we're gonna have to fight Lusamine, I'm assuming. What? He has three Pokemon? Wait, we already battled him, didn't we? So we know Slowbro and Ladian? Are these different Pokemon? Let's hustle through this. Whew, that battle's finally over. There was a Hypno at the very end there that kept putting us to sleep and then disabling our moves. So as soon as we woke up, it would be like, no, your move's disabled. Then he would outspeed me and put me to sleep again. 
Very frustrating. How's smiling? I'm smiling. I got those killer shades. He's got those killer shades. How's like, we're like two centimeters away from him. He's like, thanks. Hey. This is why, this is why I can't bring myself to like children. <laughs> what a punk. But it looks like we're finally busting out of this place. If you want to find Lusamine, we got to get to the entrance of 1F before it's too late. Mm. Bunch of team skull thugs and grunts. Aha. Gladian versus Guzma. <laughs> Whoa, there's like an Uku billion Team Skull thugs in this place. So the foundation really was working together with Team Skull. Man, they got me with that one. It's like way too mind blowing to think about right now. Gio, let's knock some skull together skulls together for now. I really don't want to have to battle all these guys. Do you think Lily's with Lusamine? That is what Miss Wick said, right? This is a huge area. Absolutely massive. What do we got over here? Just a creature for the Zygarde cube. Can't ride Pokemon here. That's not a doorway I can enter. Got a fenced off area here. Just spamming A while I run. A couple of unconscious team skull thugs. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Item over here. It's a full heal. Is there something shiny there? Was I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. I had a stroke. That's all right. All right, let's hurry through this hallway. I saw a lot of Team Skull. I'm hoping I don't need to battle all slash any of them. Well, shucks. <laughs> this is like Nugget Bridge. Remember Nugget Bridge, guys? Red and blue. Uh, Celadon City. Is it Celadon? No, it was before that. Vermilion. Vermilion City. And you had to fight your way down a, uh, a bridge that had nothing but trainers on it. You'd fight one, then you'd go exactly like this. You'd go up and over, and then you'd fight another, and then up and back over to the other side. You'd fight another. And it was five and then you'd get to the end and he's like I'm the nugget bridge master here's a nugget and it's worth like 5,000 poke yen and that's like more money than you have in the game at that point and you're like wow and then you just buy like so many pokeballs and next thing you know you spent all that money and now you have to SMD on the street for just to get a poke buck you know what I mean Oh boy. Yo, 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 pretty strong, ain't you? Then go right ahead. I'm no numbskull. I don't fight battles I can't win. Thank you. Oh my word. Guzma and Gladiant. So I'm still not strong enough. All those days that I struggled alone and lonely it was for nothing. Is that it? <laughs> Dude just walks by casually. He doesn't give a frick about his suffering. He doesn't give a heck. The hated boss who the hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzman is here. I did that spoiled little brat a favor and crushed him. Yeah, that was me. You know, I kind of liked you, kid. Leaving home like that, wanting to grow stronger and stronger. You had some real guts. Going so far as coming over to Team Skull and rejecting your own mother. That was impressive. And now it's your turn. You little misfits keep getting up in my grill like a cloud of smoke that I can't brush away. It's time I put your fire at the put out your fire at the source. Guzma. What? Guzma. So I fight this guy again. But he caught an extra Pokemon, so maybe he's stronger. Galissapod. He's got two extra Pokemon, because last time it was like Ariados and uh, Galissapod. This time it's Galissapod. Ooh. 
I just gave myself an amulet coin, so acrobatics is much weaker. Might not be a two-hit KO. Ah, oh, shoot. And he went for that swords dance. He's, he's heating up. Well, he'll emergency exit after I hit him with another one, and I outspeed him so he won't get an attack off. Cleanse. Things got good stats, though. Masquerade. Hit him with that Intimidate. Oh, that sucks, because I was planning on using Acrobatics on you. Oh, well. Moon Blast it is. He's got that Air Slash. And he gets that Flinch. Let's see just how lucky you can get, Guzma. Two flinches. How lucky can you get, Guzma? Not that lucky. He does live, though, unfortunately. Um, looks like he's hitting me for... Not quite 50. I should live one more. Oh, but he gets another flinch! Three out of four flinches! How fun! That's so fun, honestly. This is... I'm having a lot of fun here. Let's, uh... None of my Pokémon particularly care for flying. Incineroar doesn't care that much, though. So let's go Incineroar. Problem is, he's just hitting so hard, and if he flinches me, then once again, I'm in the exact same position I were in before. Bug Buzz. Uh, that's neutral, and it can't flinch me, so... Thank goodness. I can't believe those flinches, honestly. That was kind of ridiculous. Who we got next? Who's coming out? Galissapod. Yeah, let's switch. Decidueye. You haven't been getting much playtime. Let's see that. Let's get Decidueye in here. Like Robin Hood. Mmm, Water Bug. Spirit Shackles, power 80. Leaf Blade's neutral and power 90. First impression? Ow. Oh my god, he survived. Let's sucker punch this fool. It failed. Oh no, he went for Swords Dance. Let's just keep going for Sucker Punch. Got him that time. Take that, Glissapod. Glissapod looks cool, like a more buggy version of a Palkia. Venom Drench. Uh, that's the one that lowers your stats if you're poisoned or something like that. Lowers your defenses, or I don't know. Uh, Ariados. Uh, I can stay in here for now. Even though Bug is super effective against me. Ooh, and so is Sucker Punch. Ah, the CGI goes down. What do we got? Bugnitude hasn't seen some playtime in a while, so let's get Bugnitude in here. Look at him, he's so cute, a little charger bug. Fell Stinger. If he defeated me with this, he'd get a lot of attack boost. But he didn't. And instead, he goes down to charge a bug, being a man. Pincer. Take him out. Is he gonna hit me with that mega bug? The buginium? Now's your chance. Nope. Cause you're gonna get taken out by this, and then you didn't even get a chance to use the Oh my god, he lives! Goes for another excess. Is that gonna take me out? No bugnitude! Uh, how do I finish this guy off? McBro! McBro gonna finish this with a dizzy punch. Give him the old one, two. Brick break, that won't do the trick. Pa, pa! T 
take him down. Love those stupid little fists. Hey, what's up with you? How come I can't smash you? That's a weird question to ask a child. Hey, you wanna smash, kid? Guzma, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Gee, you're such a punk just standing there smiling. Tch, looks like I got no choice. Go on through. Well then. Well done, my brave companion. You beat Guzma. Now let's find Lusamine. Yes, we shall. On the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. We are pretty much finished up here in the uh, in Aether Paradise. It looks like we've done almost everything. But we got a showdown with Lusamine. So what better way to end this episode with a boss battle. And then start our next episode with another boss battle. So as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you guys in episode 37.